today we're going to change the front brake pads, the rear brake pad, or we'll install some rear brake pads, and uh, hopefully some uh, get the hard line situation nipped in the bud on the um, on the Ford 88 rear end. So this was the first time I've ever pulled a front wheel off of this car. I've never pulled one off for any reason. And uh, man, that hardware may be a little rough. Anywho, um, some things I want to look at is why is this vehicle sitting so high in the front? The shocks seem to be okay. I mean, they're old. I hate um, Man, look at these big jumbo spacers on these things. That is not ideal. Calipers or something else. Man, they stick out past the uh, hat on the rotor. That's different. And then we got two lines coming in. So we need to figure out what exactly is going on here. I mean, these Volvo wheels, they don't look that bad. They're off of like a S40 or 60 or something like that. But the intention of this offset is for a front wheel drive vehicle. This is not a front wheel drive vehicle. I don't feel that comfortable with the big spacers on there. Mechanically, they may be okay. Uh, previous owners said they scrubbed real bad in the front. I really don't care for that. Um, so my options are either A, um, go back with another 5x108 wheel, or B, go ahead and get the redrilled hubs for 5x4.5, which is the factory Ford pattern. Now, if I get a donut spare that's the same diameter as the rear wheel, that's fine. I can use that spare all the way around and in a perfect world that's that's what needs to happen. So I'm trying to figure out what it is I'm looking at here. I've got two lines coming in and I noticed whenever I separated the two halves of these calipers, well now I've got fluid coming out. Um, that's not what I'm used to looking at. I'm used to looking at a piston or a pair of pistons on one side pushing against a fixed plate. But with this large extrusion here, I'm pretty sure that there are one or two pistons here and then one or two here and fluids traveling between the halves so one line is for one side one line is for the other and they clamp together so this might be like a four pot piston which is pretty cool but yet people still upgrade to the factory s60 brembos but uh i really hate how these are hard lined i wish they were soft lined All right, so uh, I stopped the video and went on YouTube and uh, watched someone actually do these pads. And I'm completely going the wrong way about it. So apparently you don't have to remove the bracket. You don't have to remove any of the bolts that house it together, which I may have messed up an O-ring now that I've separated those. I don't know. But apparently you just pull out these clips, pull out some pins, the pins slide out and the pads just slide straight out. You don't have to remove any of this. So let's give it a shot and see what happens.
so that was a different experience um the pads that came out compared to the new man they were still like 80 percent good um but they had only been sitting in that car for 10 years and their brake pads come on so i don't know if a semi-metallic brake pad can actually absorb any kind of moisture or break down over time but we're going to change them out 17 bucks yeah we're going to change them out i'm going to put some brake pads on all right so the reason i didn't do these before i was waiting on these little metal uh, rectangular shaped guides i guess you would call them they match the profile of the the pads and i'm um, pretty easy to put on i just have to kind of tap them on a little bit but um this is a driver's side done um man everything gets so nasty under here i gotta he sheds white hair out of control so it's literally stuck to everything tomorrow i should have the shocks it just slides on here um the shock top slides on here the bottom sits in between here and that should act as my limiter for the shock falling out and then i have to connect to the factory soft lines right here i have to connect the factory hard line was just a split no it was individuals hard line to each side well the 88 factory hard line has a splitter so either a i have to cap one of those off which is probably gonna be the easiest thing to do or run a hard line each way all right so i just made the trip to o'reilly's and here is what we're going to try to do here's a little short piece of brake line it's got two fittings on it this is a factory right hand side ford explorer brake line this will thread in to here and this is the factory volvo line this is the factory metric end we're going to take this end off put one of these on each end of the volvo line left and right hand side use the flare tool flare it and then we could connect to the factory forward brake lines all right so we kind of got the two we got the little bracket zip tied to the rear end i cut the old end off put the new one on we're going to try to flare the new one to me i've never done this before It's definitely flared. unfortunate happen do you know what that is one of my bleeders <laughs> this caliper has one for each side and then I guess one for a high point 
all I do is break them loose and snug them back and as I'm snugging it back it just shears off so I have to dig out the old one hopefully it digs out um, or I have to get a caliper all right so I'm not gonna invest any more time into this thing for now found a cheap set of uh, black and Decker easy outs in the shed I've owned this set for 10 years I've not one time got the set to work. Not one time. Matter of fact, every time I've pulled an easy out of it out of that set, it broke the easy out in half. Either I'm a complete fool and using them wrong, or it's just cheap crap. And I kind of already know it's cheap crap. Then again, I could be the fool. Um so I looked on O'Reilly's. These calipers, the entire caliper is like 52 bucks with a $6 core charge. I guess next time I come in, I'm just going to order the stinking caliper and let them have that piece of crap as a core and have a brand new caliper. So, um, small price to pay, or I could take it off and put a nut on there and weld it to it and try to back that sucker off. We'll see what happens. So, I think for now, I'm just going to put the wheels back on the car get everything tidied up, call it a wrap until I come back home in September.